If you're looking to cozy up with some friends over some delicious Japanese eats, then you are in for a treat today. We're at Rule of Thirds in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. George, you opened Rule of Thirds in February of 2020. <laughs> right before everything changed. What was that like for you? Well, uh, I'm really happy that we opened at all. We were open for three weeks and shut down on March 15th. We didn't reopen until August, so we were closed for five months. What do you serve here? So Rule of Thirds is a Japanese restaurant. We're really inspired by the izakaya style restaurants, which are basically great places to go and get together with friends and drink and enjoy food and have a good time. You came up with a really great way to get through the colder months. What did you do? We created these private dining bungalows. We call it our winter village. And there are four uh, rooms that are heated and ventilated, totally exclusive to your group for the evening. And we've also created a little bit of some new family style menus. So it's meant to be enjoyed together with your friends and family. George, we're now out here in the Winter Village. It's nice and toasty in here. You have the heater up there. You have these other ceramic heaters underneath. Tell me about the planning that went into it. Sure. We definitely wanted everyone to feel safe and comfortable. So the way that these uh, bungalows are designed are to uh, optimize some airflow. Like for example, the eaves of the roofs aren't connected to the wall. So there's ample circulation up top as well as the whole structure is on stilts. So down below, there's open air circulating from the bottom up as well. You have the option of sliding the door shut to keep a little bit more of the heat inside, or you can keep it open. These bungalows are booked out for you and your group for the entire evening. So, you know, we encourage people to come a little bit on the earlier side um, and just stay and relax and kind of feel like you've, uh, you've left New York City for a moment. All right, well, we're family today, George, so I'm <laughs> excited to dig into this family-style meal. Can you walk me through the dishes? Sure. There's a lot of different ways that you can experience what we do here, and it's great to start your meal with a cocktail. So there are three of our signature cocktails here. Uh, this one here, closest to me, is the Singing Telegraph. Um, there's Roku, it's a Japanese vodka, made into almost like a cosmopolitan style, um, but there's a really cool kind of funky savory note that comes from blue cheese in there. Ooh, it, it kind of moves. <laughs> That's delicious. So today we'll be tasting our sashimi plate with the tuna nori tartare and build your own DIY sushi tamaki. I love uni. Mmm. And then there's Japanese fried chicken, or karaage, and then pork blade steak tonkatsu. We actually marinate that one with leftover rice from sake making. And then um, finally we also have here the kasujiru. I think this is one of the most unique dishes of the menu um, here. It's actually, it's a really hearty butter bean stew, also made with the residual sake leaves. And so you get this um, a little bit funky, almost cheesy, uh, rich flavor, and super comforting during the winter to have a stew like that. Oh my goodness. Like on a cold winter night, does it get better than this? So this is our Japanese cheesecake. It's actually cooked in a rice cooker, so it's steamed, it's really decadent, but very fluffy, and a little bit of yuzu citrus in there too. And this is the fun part. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Don't worry, it burns for a while. Okay, good. Mmm. <laughs> it's a nice way to end the meal. And maybe a few more cocktails. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank George. Thank you for coming. Come by. Come by.